Everybody has their own recipe and does their own thing. And all the different pumpkin beers sell because everybody wants something different. A cheer coach in Warren wins at entrepreneurship during the pandemic. Penn Northwest has a new executive director, and we get a lesson on pumpkin beer and beer for beginners. Those stories on today's Daily Buzz. Hello everyone, welcome to the Daily Buzz. I'm Maggie Young, and we have made it yet again through another work week and finally arrived at Friday. And what better way to spend your upcoming weekend than cuddled up on the couch with your mid-September issue of the Business Journal, which is full of all sorts of great content and stories. And one of those stories, Cheer Coach Wins at Entrepreneurship, you can find at businessjournaldaily.com today. When Andrea Hudson found herself out of work due to the coronavirus pandemic, she decided to focus her attention on growing cheer image icons, a cheer program she started 13 years ago. We teach the basics from the beginners to the elite. Hudson participated in the Youngstown Business Incubator's nine-week We Launch program and walked away with a $5,000 grant, which will go toward finding a building to hold practice. I wanted these kids to have a platform. I wanted them to have somewhere where they can feel safe and comfortable. And that's what I got through the YBI, just the confidence to say, you've been doing this for 13 years, so why not? You can see the full video and read more in Dan Heiner's story at businessjournaldaily.com. In our top story today, Penn Northwest has a new executive director. Penn Northwest Development Corporation announced Rod Wilt as the agency's newly hired executive director on Thursday. Wilt will begin his new position September 28th. He was selected from among 60 applicants and succeeds Randy Seitz. Community health clinics in two district high schools could be open in late October or early November, according to Youngstown City School District CEO Justin Jennings. Jennings said the two clinics, one at East High School and one at Cheney High School, are being established through a partnership with QuickMed Urgent Care. He said the clinics are in response to a lack of accessibility to health care providers within city limits. In that same briefing Thursday, Governor Mike DeWine discussed new dashboards launched by the state this week. The dashboards report data on coronavirus cases in school districts across the state, as well as overall population of children under the age of 18. The students of the Trumbull Career and Technical Center's Animal Science Health and Technology team took first place overall at the Ohio FFA Association's Animal Management Competition, exceeding the runner-up by more than 100 points. In the latest preview of our Brain Gain Youngstown Leadership Series podcast, Sarah Boyarco, COO of the Youngstown Warren Regional Chamber, discusses communicating about economic development projects. When we talk about communication with the companies and what the companies want to do and whatnot, the companies, you know, it's their show. The Brain Gain Youngstown Leadership Series podcast features conversations with local leaders who are focused on building a culture of entrepreneurship and promoting workforce development. You can hear more from Boyarco in the video on our website. Well, the days are getting shorter and the nights are getting cooler, and that means fall is approaching. And when I say approaching, I mean the fall season officially begins on Tuesday next week. And along with the fall season, we can also expect to see every food and drink imaginable flavored with pumpkin, including craft beer. But what is pumpkin beer? Where did it come from? And what are some that you can try this weekend? Well, luckily, for those who want these questions answered, the newest segment of our Beer for Beginners series is out today at AfterHoursYoungstown.com. In this episode, Jeff McDevitt, owner of Vintage Estate Wine and Beer in Boardman, talks about pumpkin beer and how it's been growing in popularity since the 80s. Here's a clip. We see just dozens and dozens of different styles come in and they all come in, you know, at the same time every year. So as soon as they hit the floor, although it seems early to some people, there's people that are just pacing the floor waiting for these beers to come in and they sell like crazy. You can see the full video at AfterHoursYoungstown.com. And that's all for today's Daily Buzz. Be sure to like, subscribe, and click the little bell for notifications if you're watching on YouTube. As always, the links to all the stories we talked about are in the description. I hope you all have an amazing weekend filled with your favorite kind of craft beer. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Maggie Young. This one, for example, uh, has won some gold medals at some big competitions and our blind pumpkin taste we have done for many, many years. It has won like seven years in a row. So it's pretty widely considered the best. This is Whole Hog out of Wisconsin.
717 Credit Union is paying it forward because we care about our business community. We are offering six months of free ACH and domestic wire services through small business payments when you open a free e-business checking account. 717 Credit Union, we are here for your business.